Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Grant and in today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about my current street photography setup, Micro Four Thirds uh, street photography setup for 2023. The cameras I use, the lenses I use, and the potential lenses I'm going to invest in moving on further in the year, particularly for street photography, right? So let's roll that intro and let's get straight into it. Hey everyone, welcome back. So yeah, as you can see, I've got two cameras here and these are my two main cameras for street photography. Well, the two cameras I'm gonna focus the most on in 2023 for my street photography and the lenses I'm gonna use. And I'm also gonna talk about the lenses I plan to invest in um, you know, over the next two or three months to build up this little micro four thirds uh, street photography kit, okay? So um, let's start with the first camera. Okay, first camera is my trusty old, well, I shouldn't say old, I should say new uh, Lumix G85, okay? This camera here is my, well, I guess you could say my DSLR looking style feel street photography camera, okay? It's a little compact, tiny um, camera uh, that's perfect for street photography, but still has a deep grip, okay? Sometimes... The more rangefinder um, style cameras are better for certain things, but the grip is not there, right? With the G85, I find it's the best uh, camera, well, for me, for street photography because of the grip. And this is one of the reasons I got this particular camera, okay? Um, not only for like a C cam in my YouTube setup and for all my sort of client work, but also for street photography. This camera here is going to be paired up for street photography with the Panasonic Leica 12 to 60, okay? So this is gonna be my Zoom street photography combo in 2023. Uh, you know, I have shot with this 12 to 60 a lot lately on my Panasonic GH5 Mark II and it have got great results, but I also get great results paired it with it paired up with the G85 as well, okay? A great combo, a great Zoom combo for the streets. Um, this lens uh, fits really, really well and balances out really well on the G85 camera. Well, any sort of you know DSLR style of Lumix mirrorless camera, right, with that deep grip. I find this lens gets a little bit top heavy on my next camera, which you all probably know is the GX9. Um, this lens for me doesn't really work well with that particular camera. That's why I'm bringing in two cameras for my street photography. Will I take them both out for street photography sessions? No way, it's either gonna be one or the other, 99% of the time. Um, so yeah, this is my first combo, G85 paired up with the uh, Panasonic Leica 12 to 60 lens, okay? Um, I have used it, you know, just um, in and around the studio, but I am looking forward to taking this out onto the streets as well and getting stuck into things with this particular combo. Such a great combo, balances really, really well. Um, you know, it's pretty budget friendly too. You know, the G85 second hand, you know, you're picking these up in Australia from anywhere to, uh, from 400 to $600, um, even a bit cheaper sometimes. And this Panasonic Leica lens, if you look really hard, you can pick this thing up from anywhere from, well, again, $400 to $600 second hand new. This is about $1,000 still new. This is about $1,000 still too, right? But on the second-hand market, it's a real great street photography combo that's super versatile. If you haven't done street photography with a zoom lens, I highly recommend you give it a go. It's absolutely brilliant. Don't mind the uh, vaporizer smoke machine thing I've got going on over here. It's just to add a little bit of ambiance to the video, right? But yeah, that's the first combo. Let's move into my second combo or combos. Okay, second combo is going to be these three pieces of kit right here, okay? The Lumix GX9, this is gonna be, get over there, um, this is gonna be my main street photography camera. Why? Well, if you go back and you search on the other videos, you'll know that, you know, I've got a fair bit of history with the Lumix GX9, mainly because of the size point. I do plan to get a grip for this particular camera as well, just to give, give it a little bit more finger strength um, and a couple more batteries as well and a charger. But 
um, you know, this camera is a beast for street photography, right? And I plan to make a video um, about the GX9 and some different sort of points and different ideas covering the GX9 for street photography. Um, so make sure you tune in for that. Um, I'm also going to make finally a uh, video on the monochrome settings on the GX9 too. But anyway, I digress. This is going to be my other camera. I shouldn't say second camera because I'm planning on using them both just as much as the each other depending on um, the environment I'm in, right? But I guess this is going to be this is going to be my workhorse. This is what I'm probably going to focus a lot of my emphasis on, um, the GX9. This camera here paired up currently with the 12mm f1.4 with the clicky aperture ring. This is a great combo. I used to use this particular combo a lot before I sold off this camera in the middle of the year. Recently got it back. Um, this was a great uh, wide combo, 24mm full frame equivalent. Um, really fast lens with the 1.4 aperture. Great for low light. Again, both cameras have image stabilization, which is absolutely brilliant for low light shooting and lower shutter speeds to get creative with all that sort of stuff. This particular lens is built like anything. It's a fantastic lens. Um, this also works well with the G85, of course. Any of these lens, uh, lenses work together fine. But this is the main comb I'm going to use. Um, GX9 with the 12mm. Also, um, I have been using this cheap little 25mm f1.7 that come with my G85 when I bought it late last year. I'm really enjoying this setup as well. This is a fantastic, you know, nifty 50 style of setup. Um, it's super light, it's not top heavy, it's balanced so well, um, even without the grip and stuff. This, yeah, I'm really, I did a, a brief photo walk with this combo the other day and it was brilliant, right? It performed really well. A lot of people are saying they've got focusing issues with this 25mm f1.7. I haven't experienced that yet, but, you know, um, maybe I just need to spend more time with this, this, this particular lens to see how it goes. But, yeah, that's going to be um, another combo that I'm going to use a lot. Um, you know, this will go in a small bag, absolutely no worries whatsoever, um, right around the shoulder or even just take one lens out at a time, two batteries in the pocket, this around the neck and, you know, way you go, awesome street photography setup, okay? So, yeah. That's that combo as well. Let me bring in the other camera, just back in the mix for a little bit. There we go, G85 and GX9. Uh, GX9's got the 25. This is, got, this is gonna be my Zoom street photography combo. Be sure to stay tuned for more shorts and reels and videos on the results of this setup here and this particular setup here. Now, moving forward, I do plan to try and get the um, 15mm f1.7 for the GX9. Um, you know, that seems to be the go-to street, pho street photography combo for this particular camera. Looks really cool too, but you know, the, the, the proof is in the results that it gives. But um, yeah, that's one lens I'm looking at getting for this particular camera too. The other lens, if I can get it at a good price, um, will be, let me just move this over here, move this in like that. The 25mm, the Leica version, the 1.4, uh, just to, I want to hold onto this lens and I want to get that lens too to do some comparison testing about the focusing and all that sort of stuff, the colours, do the Leica colours make any difference to the Lumix colours, does that extra stop of light really make much of a difference to the weight, the build, all that sort of stuff, right? So I do plan to get that um, lens as well for some street photography, so that means I've got a nifty 50 with the uh, GX9, um, either the 25mm f1.7 or the 25mm f1.4, I guess that'll sit right there. <laughs> and, um, you know, keep that bad boy in the mix as well. The other lens, as I said, the 15mm f1.7 paired up on this beautiful little GX9 camera here. That will be the, what will that be? That will be the 30 millimeter full frame equivalent so that's that classic oh that's that classic um street photography focal length that you know all the Fu fuji shooters use and all that sort of stuff right but yeah that's it um if you like this sort of thing please consider subscribing to the channel and yeah comments and queries below let me know your micro four thirds um street photography setup for 2023 uh, do you have any plans to get any new cameras any new lenses are you an Olympus shooter? Are you a Lumix shooter? Let me know down in the comments below and I'll see you all next time. Bye.